Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This time around uh, in DIY project here, um, we're gonna have tried to do two doors uh, for Bella and Coco, our dogs. Uh, we We have them underneath the stairs, a little section that we have there. But I'm gonna try to do two doors. We I bought two of these uh, um, garden fences. And uh, from this, I'm gonna try to do two doors for them. So stay tuned and see how it goes. So again, back for another video, guys. This is gonna be another DIY, guys. Well, first, we're gonna start by uh, slowly removing the crown molding so we don't damage it. And then um, that way we can start cutting on the wall. Yep, cutting it down here. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm so excited for this because now we won't have Bella's kennel on the hallway. We have oh. more space now. Oh, I just want to show a little trick. Um, like, we know that the, this, the two by four is around here, right? But uh, what I do is I, put, I get a little piece of wire. And I start like, you know, poking at it a little bit to find kind of the edge. So right there. Push it in. A little hard. So. That means that stud is right there. So, so I'll tell you. Okay. Tip, the way I did this line, so I marked it, you know, with pencil right here, right here, right here. The way I do it is I, I put my the ruler, I level it, and then mark it, you know. Uh, of course, you can have one of this a lot longer. It's a lot easier to mark all the way down, you know, and I put the level here and mark it. So we're ready to open it, see how it looks inside. Uh, by the way, it's just, uh, I poke it with this little wire, and I found out that the... the Two by four is like right here, still here, but not here. So it's good to have because this, uh, you can just, you know, seal it later on in case you make a mistake or something, instead of cutting it a lot with this. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Why not? By all means, I'm not an expert, but uh, you know, I, I follow a lot of common sense. So I've done a few, a few here and there, so. Yeah, guys, I mean, he did this opening here. Um... Just something for Bella, I mean Coco here. But so now that we have Bella, well. Also when you're cutting, uh, in this case is the stairway. So it's a lot of space. But when you're cutting a regular wall, I always recommend just to have a little bit. Because in case there's a wire, there's a PVC pipe. With this device, of course, uh, you can identify, uh, you know, uh, wires or, or, or pipes. But I always recommend, and, and also not to go all the way through the other side of the wall, just to have a little bit and just have this, this small motion, like this solid motion, and just cut it all the way down. Also a good practice to have is maybe you have a, a little bit of a, maybe a, a trash can right here, you know, so we can do it real quick. Continue. Did I tell you guys that it's awesome to have a husband that's a handyman? <laughs> Definitely. Um, we do know uh, this guy that's really good at like all these different projects. So we usually hire him if uh, the project has to be done, you know, ASAP or, you know, or we need to do anything like that. Uh, my husband can't do it, then yeah, we'll hire him. But basically, he's done a lot of the things here at the house, so good thing he enjoys doing it, too. But yeah, I'm excited to get another little kennel area for um, Bella here. And I mean, because Coco's kennel worked out really well. Um, so we're going to now 
have one for Bella. That way we have the hallway open because yeah, the kennel being out here, it was a temporary thing. So now we're ready to, to make Bella a kennel here. Also, what I, what I want to do, I want to keep one solid uh, piece of uh, you know, shiro. That way this piece can be used maybe on the side wall, you know, one in the inside once I always try to finish it. So let's see. Yeah, we'll see how inside, how it looks inside, guys, since, you know, we haven't seen. So this part will speed up the process of the cutting of the wall. What's well, the manual one, right? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> well, you don't wanna you wanna do anything manual because what if you bump into something uh, a two by four or a pipe, you can actually actually stop. And with a machine, you just, it's hard to tell. Yeah, well, that's you, true. you feel it. You feel what's what you're cutting. If something on the way, you can, and you don't damage it. It's uh, pretty um, interesting, guys. That More than how. Things, could be a two by four right here so how things have to be done you know in order for you not to you know break something in there while you're doing it because yeah i mean if it's uh doing it yourself but um you also have to be careful i mean it's your home you want to take care of it you don't want to break something just because you're doing it like oh there you go um there you go the moment of truth you need to see how it looks inside let me see Ooh. But aren't, you're not going to cut that little area? Yeah. I mean, on top there? Or Let me see. Gonna... Let me do that, yeah. Because then you're going to break it. No? Two by four. Or right? maybe a little bit under. So this is the last. End of it. This, this two by four right here. So we're gonna take a little peek. Oh, oh there you have it. I think I pulled it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh wow. Wow. There's gonna that. be a lot of ceiling in there. Well that's for sure. The idea is to cut this one right here. And then seal it up right here. And cut this one on the bottom as well. And you have all the space. Oh look at that. Nice. It's gonna have a lot of space in there. What do you say? Yep. Wow. You're gonna have to make a wall, probably. Because you don't want all that space, right? We'll see, guys. So we'll update you in a little while. So we already opened it up, and Camila is helping us get all the trash out that's oh, in there, guys. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. Um, Covering up this whole little area here. We're going to have to move this dot here. So we're going to see how it's going to look, guys. But we will show you and update you later, okay? Salsa, electric, electric salsa. Okay, guys. So there you heard it. We're going to have to use the electrical salsa. Camila, Camila wants to be also a helper for daddy. Yeah, and I but was inside. We need to be more careful. I was inside. Um, you were in there, right? Yeah. Camila is already thinking, oh, this is going to be a good hiding spot. 
<laughs> no, we're not gonna kill you. And I'm gonna hide there. Yeah. There and they cannot see you there. And they cannot see there? Yeah. What's no? Okay. And we do have extra flooring, guys, from this, um, this color. So we're probably gonna go ahead and add it there as well. So Camila wants to start cleaning and helping daddy. So yeah, it's a it's a very big area. We're just gonna have to cover it all up. And that's a good hiding spot. That's a what? That's a good hiding spot too. It is. Really. Okay guys, so here is how he was able to seal it from the sides. It still needs some ceiling inside the walls, but now it's nice and clean. Well, cleaner than it was. But we're gonna start the process, guys. Stay tuned. So in this part of the wall, what I'm gonna do is uh, put uh, two two by uh, two by fours underneath here. Right here, level it. One, two, maybe three. Right there, that's another. I have to level it. Level it, and uh, that's where another piece of wood can just go straight here. I want to put it now two by four right there, as you can see. And then I'm going to put the wall right here to cover it up so everyone uh, as you can see he's coming along uh, you have to uh, put the framing right here uh, pieces of wood right here so that way can i can put uh, the crown molding like on the edge like right here but i cover it with a piece of wood right here and uh i'm almost done with the walls uh right here so what i'm gonna do is uh, Put two two by fours, two two small pieces of two by four, and then seal it up right there. So we're almost we're getting there. So there you have it. It's gonna it's getting a little better. So as you all can see, uh, we have the crown molding already. So I painted it. Uh, or uh, sealant, like right here, there was little cracks right here. So I seal it up pretty good. And I paint it right there, all painted the floor. So there you have it. So here guys, you see the after. Look at this after guys. We were so pleased the turnout on this kennel the husband really did an awesome job babe you did awesome we love it and i think bella and coco also like it even though coco had to trade spaces with bella we um still have her potty training so we needed a bigger area for her but look at her She's got a big loft there. <laughs> but um, Coco also got his space. And yeah, sorry, Coco. You had to settle for the smaller one. But both of them got their own spaces. And the job was well done. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. And any suggestions? And this is another shot, guys, that I got. Of course, this is feeding time, so they're so excited. Thank you for watching. Bye.